It's Bebo Bangs, and obviously, I'll bring you heat, you feel me? So listen, on this new episode, I got the top five times, man like Exto, right? Exto of my, listen, does it still need introduction? Come on, man, Exto has been the man for a long time, bro. Hair plaf legendary, whatever, Exto, you feel me? I got top five times, Exto displayed raw talent and emotions on the track, you feel me? I don't want to say Exto is like underrated, but... Um, Whatever, like, who is not underrated in Canada? You feel me? It was it, but Exto's real name is Richard Akrofi, right? And I know Akrofi comes from the Eastern region. Like, Akrofi is like, you know, a queer people last name. And everybody knows my grandfather comes from Aprilia. So, you know, feel affiliation to the dude. Or you queer people, right? Also, you queer people, you can see me, but you see. You know where it is, right? Now, the last time I tried to do something for a tribesman, they did not show appreciation, bro. I tried to big up the man poop skinny. Man wouldn't even retweet my shit, bro. But, like, whatever is what is. But, obviously, I'm going to spend time, like, you know, doing this thing for tribes, man. Even then, they're going to show appreciation. But, listen. Extra looks like a solid dude. And on this episode, we got top five times. Extra display raw emotions on the track, right? I'll take you all the way back to 1999 or 2000. When the track, my back came. You feel me? My back was, like, probably the first vicious attack by a Guinea rapper. On fellow rappers, like the first real hip life beef was from Mobba, I think. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna talk much, bro. So I'm gonna skip the first verse and jump right into the second verse, right? Where we see Exdo at his finest, Exdo at his most vicious, just raw talent and energy. You feel me? I'm kind of talking too much, bro, but hit the subscribe button. Let's do it. <laughs> And just in case this is the first time you're watching my top five raw talent and emotion thingy, this is how like I determine or choose who gets to be on it, right? Usually you know somebody is passionate or like emotional about what they are saying by the subtle changes in their voice, right? So somebody like um Stoneboy are usually sings in a in a high tenor. When he gets emotional, his voice drops like an octave, it becomes a little bit lighter. Now, Exdo is the kind of person to talk with emphasis on his words and on his pronunciation. I kind of do the same thing when I'm serious too, you feel me? So listen to how Exdo says, Exdo, I got the up, check me flow. You feel me? Like, he digs deep into his voice to tell you, bro, I mean exactly what I'm saying. You feel me? Exdo, I got the up, check me flow. Rhyming, right? I grab the saw, I rehorn the cock, I mean, need that saw. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Exo was rhyming still. Bro, like, I know, like, I just started, but listen, listen, Exo was bragging though. Like, he tells you. The minimum tour, a man for Kuhu, a demo shrunk, eighteen five day fino, MF to talk. Come on, bro. Like, that was vicious, you know what I mean? And, like, obviously, that is how you want somebody to come on a beef track. You gotta remember, like, obviously, I skipped the first verse where he was attacking uh, Chicago and Reggie Rockstone, right? But on the second verse, right, this is a beef track. Now, he attacks his adversaries in the first verse. On the second verse, he comes in with Bragadocio. He tells you, I'm this. And I'm that, and my music is the best, and your music is trash, and my music makes people dance, and your music is trash. You feel me, like? Am I record the call? Am I for call? A demonstration call? You feel me? And it's funny how Exo proclaims he's an Ethiopian dude, but he never rhymes in Ethiopian though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, okay, so I kind of lie, right? In the first verse, Exdo spent like a considerable period of like the two minute um rap to attack the man Chicago, right? His former friend, Ryan partner, whatever. On the second verse, where he's showing you his raw emotions and energy, he tells you, Ufra, president, 
one show I went to resonance, one show I went over to internet. You know what I mean? And like, this is an attack on the man Reggie Rockstone, original grandpapa, hip life founder, and originator. Big ups to the man like Reggie Rockstone, you feel me? He says, Ufrel who president. And we know this because Reggie Rockstone calls himself a Saikom president. Or Saikom is like, you know, slang them for Kumasi. And you know, Reggie come from Kumasi. So he says, I am not Saikom president. And next, they'll be like, Ufrel who president. Also, I went to residence. Like, you call yourself a president of like a neighborhood or a town or whatever. But you don't live in your residence because Reggie Rackson never really lived in Kumasi like that. He like he's always resided in Accra or New York or London. You feel me? So like, don't be like you call yourself the president, yet you don't even live in the residence. You feel me? If you don't fuck up, I'm gonna report you on the internet. And this is amazing because this is 1999, and how many people were using the internet? You feel me? But my like, my life is even like oh shit, we're about to internet. You feel me? still was so raw bro like and i love that like i kind of miss that kind of energy currently it's only um shatawali that kind of matches x those like energy and raw talent and emotions like you know when he says something when he attacks you you know it when he brags you know it like you feel me still shatawali is the only other artist that kind of attacks you like that you feel me like He's not even trying to be classy, he's just telling you, bro, your music is trash and you don't match up to me, just get the F out of here, you feel me? <laughs> Yo, my like ex though, man, big up to the man Richard Akufi, you feel me? Really crap him, dude. Now, next up, on top 5 Raw Talent and Emotions by ex Doe on a track, I got a track um Gugunhu. i think our uh, who was on like those second album which came about in um was it 2001 or 2002 like if i'm not mistaken right listen if xdo watches this episode xdo when did Gugunhu come out you feel me like i seem to think it's 2001 or 2002 i'm not too sure right but listen like the thing about xdo is he always start his track with energy like with viciousness you feel me but on Google who like and don't took it like a notch higher. He came in with just energy and vibration, bro. So I ain't gonna talk much. On Google who we see X Do display his lyricism, viciousness, and energy on the track. You feel me? Still it. Yo, my gun is still not too good, but I know Kashe means um don't play. Kashe, right? Yeah, Kasha is gone for don't play, right? The guy goes watching me. What is Kasha? Don't play, right? And like, I always love how XDO begins his track by mentioning his own name. I mean, these days it's only Shatawali that does that kind of thing. Like, before a Shatawali track ends, Man would have mentioned his own name about 10 times, you feel me? Back in the day, it used to be X-Do, right? Before X-Do begins his, his verses, he'd be like, X-Do, you feel me? And I love how he puts emphasis on his words when he means it, when he's like emotional, when he wants to go raw, you feel me? X-Do, like, yeah, we know, it's you. You're the only one with that kind of energy, right? No way, hey, I should out, I Yo, XDO is giving me advice on how to talk to a girl though. I see your bar no whole ne ho or yet the sebro fret. You feel like the girl is pretty like right popo and she's sweet like raw popo. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know if it works with a girl though. He won't for several for it all day. <laughs> Yo, like, this is not even gonna miss me, bro. Like, if you think about it, X Do was one of the first, like, hardcore rappers making songs for ladies. And, like, I mean, obviously, it was bound to happen because you gotta remember, X Do team up with. Or X Do came out with the help of Nana King who produced the Maba track. I mean like obviously before Maba like Maba was in 1999, if I'm not mistaken. But before that, X Do had come out with um Davi Medical with Chicago in 97 or 98. 
right? But you know, the beef thing, I made the whole thing fall in water, but Daffy made the cook was the banking trap. Now, the only reason I ain't gonna include Daffy made the cook on this list is like, I don't speak ever, you feel me? Like, my hour is terrible, so I wouldn't know what they were talking about. But you gotta remember, man like Nana King, you, you know, was born in California, if I'm not mistaken. He came down to Ghana to set up his studio, you know, was it like Dan Simon? And he was bringing through like all these cats, like Batman, X Do, and all them cats. And he is like an R&B singer, so obviously it makes sense that even if you were like, you know, a hardcore rapper working with like a producer, singer like Nana King, he is gonna make you do a little bit of, you know, laugh song for the ladies, right? So I love the fact that, you know, X Do's like energy and his viciousness too, you know, did that prevent him from doing something for the ladies, you feel me? And here he was, you know, praising a girl and trying to talk to a girl. Gustav, Richard Akko. Yo, that rhyming is tight. You feel me, like that? That is like an A A B A. You feel me? I don't know. I You feel me? Watch that. He repeated the same trick, you feel me? The A A B A. The A A B A. He repeated the same trick twice. Whoever was ex those girlfriend at the time, you really held a dude, bro. Ex don't be like, Kakra made the money be an any sort of jit. Like, no matter how tiny or no matter how small the money I give her is, she takes it without complaint. You feel me? That was like, you know, a down ass girl. You feel me? Kakra made the money be an any sort of jit. Bro, like you guys listening to the chorus, like go go home, I'm in chill at the go go home, I'm in fam out. Like humble yourself so I give you a gift, or like take it easy, or like you know be easy. Like that is like a dude trying to tell a girl, give me what you got in exchange for a gift. This is you know kind of giving me foul two better go vibes. You feel me? Like, in 1972, Ghana had this military leader, right? Like, what's his name again? Kotoka, right? No, it was like EAA free foul. Them, them cats, like, them military rulers. They introduced the term foul to better golf. Like, literally, bring your ass in the same for the golf. Like, you know, them old golf cars. So, the chorus be like, go go home on me, sir. They're like, be easy, so I give you a gift. <laughs> a little bit predatory, but A or S, if you know it. Yo, 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 like, listen, like, first of all, Ashdo is vicious. Ashdo is hungry. Ashdo is literally on fire every time, in every verse, you feel me? Couple that with Bragadocio, like, as though breaks up in because, like, you gotta remember, at the time, not many people were fucking with X-Do like that, because Reggie Rockstone was Ghana's darling, you know, hip life, right? and X-Do attacked him, so people were not feeling X-Do like that, even now, like, he was teaming up with, like, the coolest guy than the king, so X-Do be like, you should be showing me for my, X-Do may not form, mentioning his name every time, like, Watch me from head to toe, and you could see I'm the top cat. You feel me? X-Do was like, I ain't got money currently, but 
if you stick with me, like, it's gonna be, um, your friend is saying, they be, they be a baby, you feel me, like, I say, eh, I'm a part, if you're a bad neighbor, so, I'm a wati be, like, you know, it's, it's like a proverb, say, like, if you stick with me and we are patient long enough, the fruit is gonna ripe, then you can enjoy it, you feel me, <laughs> like, so, and so was coming all the ladies do it, because he got vibes. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's paying attention to the beats like obviously this, uh, this beat is like it's, it's a sample it, it, it comes from hip-hop and I don't remember the exact artist or the band but this is like a sample beat now I can't used to do that all the time even like those my back was a sample it will be the beat goes mm -mm. You feel me? Like, I love it. It's just, it's groovy. Like, Extra was a hardcore rapper who could still give you, like, danceable tracks. Can't see the man, Nana King. You feel me? Listen, they have to more like Nana King, bro. Like, you know, underrated producer. What you talking about? I kinda do this bro, like I kinda do this bro. What are you telling me? <laughs> I just don't say me chi on my moon now so minani so that like I've said the whole country and I ain't seen a girl like her, you feel me? Ni baby and kumi send the sisin in pokia. Like the power of a body that I love the most, or like the power of her body that kills me, you know, to translate it properly, uh, you know, her boobs and her waist, right? The baby and Kumi send the sissy need in Pokia. You feel me? Like, who calls boobs in Pokia? Like, a clapping blue, you feel me? Exhausted into formal boxer. And then he tells you, love ya, who jammed your mirror? That did Exdo marry a girl known as love ya? Because Exdo was like ranting and raving about a girl, you feel me? Yo, listen, come back and check me out, you feel me? Peace.